Well, I had to go with what I got using all the parts and pieces I had available. But basically I used my black box, put the 4040 in there. I have to use three pre-filters. I can't get away with that one carbon sediment. My water is just too nasty here. I can't afford to, to burn up a $300 membrane by using one sediment filter. You know, one carbon block. I have to have two carbon blocks granulated in the blue one. Excuse me, sediment. Five layer. The white one has the granulated carbon and that the blue one is what you call a universal for chloramines. Basically, water comes in, runs through those three, and I actually have a diverter if I want to use the one 600 membrane from the 14 inch. All I got to do is just switch this over, and then it plugs right into the other end in case I want to just make water on site because right now the lowest I can get is about 80 on this it's an old membrane but until I get the new one on Wednesday that 80 will have to go into the DEI or if I'm tanking it I could probably get down to maybe 18 or 20 using this so when I tank my hundred something gallons on site I'm just gonna run this all day long as a tap wash uh, basically I have the cash and resin in this one the anion in this notice they're separate also, this is getting pre-filtered again with a carbon block right there. And I have two small DIs as well as polishers. These polishers can be moved right here. One sits here and one sits here. If I, when I get everything hooked up, but for now I'm using it to polish. Until this is exhausted, then I hook up the cube and a half tank. And I probably got about 500 gallons left of that. Uh, right now when I run it, I'm, I'm just looking at zero, which is really good. If I crank it on a little bit. RO out, going in, coming out. Still at zero. And that'll work pretty good. Hook up to my... 400 feet of tubing, whatever I want. But yeah, it'll work for now and it's all packaged up. All packaged. Boom. It'll all be packaged up. Tight. Back the truck up and just hook everything up. All I need is one hose going in. And that's this guy here. But it'll work. So far I'm not seeing any leaks, which is good. I mean, of course there's some leaks down there, but I had a mere explosion because I left this valve open, which is for the uh, 600 membrane. So I turned everything on. Woo, party! And of course, this is not hooked up yet. Because when I put the other membrane in there, I use the green to measure the TDS for that one. I really don't care what my ways, you know, coming in is. I really never check it set for the very beginning, so I just leave the meter running on. On blue, which is, well, why well, color code it? Blue means blue for me, blue means RO. Red means shit, yuck, ugh, that's in water. That's why the waste. You put red but yeah in fact all you gotta do is that, like the one guy did put a little sling on this thing and now you got a little portable RO to take with you strap it on your back plug a hose up to it boom although he used a 4040 I prefer to hump this I'm too old to be carrying the big old 4040 around so hopefully Wednesday the new RO will come in. It's really easy to take apart. You just gotta pop this hose off, pop that hose off, and basically pop that hose off and underneath I just have a little uh there's a plug